how to run a two-way analysis of uh, variance, two-way or two factors or two uh, variables uh, analysis of variance uh, in MS Excel. Now, typically, the variables, independent variables, in this case, this engine age and this fuel type, so E0 is pure gasoline and E10 10 is the 10% ethanol and then E20 is 20% ethanol and then the there are three different engine age was used brand new engine middle age engine and then old engines now typically this is how the dependent variable and independent variable is announced so this is the two independent variable engine age affecting the emission level and fuel type affecting the emission level now when you want to see how both of them uh, works or uh, interact or both of them how they affect the emission level uh, typically in any statistical software like SAS uh, SPSS R Minitab they prefer data arranged like this one variables and their labels one variables and their labels however MS Excel prefer data this way this is how this thing works so um, the way you, you analyze uh, data in Excel uh, typically if you're in home tab then you must be in data tab so that's the data analysis tool pack you will see on the right corner if you don't see that you can go to the files and then options and then add-ins once you click add-in then there will be Excel add-ins and this box says analysis tool pack must be checked and then you see that analysis tool pack anyway so now you know how to bring that click on that analysis tool pack this is two factor ANOVA two variables ANOVA with replication each of these um, set was run six times one two three four five six so click OK with replication select all of these like that hit enter and then I have six samples per row then just type 6 and leave everything as it is if you click OK that is the analysis output in MS Excel so there are two summary tables this 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 and this is the analysis of variance table what you look at is this uh, p-values so p-value this is basically 0 negative 16 power means 0 so this one is significant this one is significant this one is also significant the interaction so columns we have a uh, fuel type in the columns and then we have the uh, engine age as the um, variable so the interaction is basically engine age times fuel time times uh, fuel type so basically the engineers and the fuel type interact to affect this um, uh, emission level now and this is the actually the mean square error or simply error now to do a post hoc analysis when you find the uh, analysis of variance is significant we need to know which engine types and fuel types are the best which are the worst in terms of the uh, emission level to do that we have to do a post hoc analysis check my other videos on how to perform post hoc analysis on Excel also in mini tab